years ago, Jesus Christ came into this world as some of us are celebrating Christmas. As I said, Jesus Christ came to this world not to be some little baby celebrated in a school nativity play, but Jesus Christ came to save the world. He came on a dangerous rescue mission to save mankind. And we want to tell you that very soon Jesus Christ is going to come again, the sequel. That Jesus is going to come, but he's not going to come as a baby born in a manger. Jesus Christ is going to come as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We see that our, 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 our neighbours over there um, are protesting against the lockdown. But we've read the last chapter of the Bible. And the Bible says that one day, all evil, all oppression, all conspiracies, all the global elites, whatever you call them, one day, all that who have done evil, who have all committed sin, one day will stand before the judgment seat of God. They will stand before the judgment seat of God one day. All that who have committed evil in the dark, all those who have oppressed the poor, all those who have brought measures, whether they're politicians or leaders or, or whatever, all evil one day will come before God and will be punished. And we want to let you know that we have to get ready. That we are going to say that in these days that oh, there is going to be great shakings, there is going to be great trouble, there is going to be great hardship. But if you have Jesus Christ, you have a sure foundation. If you have Jesus Christ, you have a solid rock to build your life upon. Troubles are going to come. But ultimately when I was 18, when my troubles came and faced me, I was in, a, in a, a really serious relationship and this person was everything to me and we all have something in our life that means everything to us. And as I realised this person left me, I realised that there was a massive void in my life, what I'd put my trust in had failed me, had let me down. And I realised that I'd built my life on sinking sand and when I built my life on sinking sand, I realised what is going on. I was heartbroken. And if you've ever been heartbroken, you know that whatever you put your trust in has let you down. I was heartbroken. But on that night that I was heartbroken, the God Almighty manifested himself in his love and changed my life. Jesus Christ changed my life. I was heartbroken. But then Jesus Christ came and he poured his love into my life. And they... I call it a liquid love flowed into my life. I knew that I was in the presence of God. And that God is the answer for the problems of society. Someone once said, the heart of the human problem is the problem of the human heart. Who can change a human heart? A protest can't change a human heart. A government, an education system can't change a human heart. Only Jesus Christ can change the human heart. And this is why we're imploring you today, Manchester, is to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. The Bible says that you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. I was talking to a person before, a young guy, and I said, do you know what born again is? He says, no, I don't know what it was, what it means. To enter into the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again, you must be converted, you must have a supernatural experience through the power of Jesus Christ. And we're here today to let you know that Jesus Christ can heal you. Jesus Christ can heal a broken heart, a broken mind, a broken body. Amen. We, we walk around in darkness. I walk around in darkness for many years of my life. And we fight an invisible battle against darkness. But Jesus is the light of the world. But Manchester, I know you said Birmingham because I'm from Birmingham. But Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And if you call upon the light of the world, he will shine into your darkness. And he will begin to clean up your life. People often think that they have to be righteous and holy to come to God. God says, come as you are, then I will clean you up and I will make you and I will restore you. And I'll make you a brand new person. The Bible says, I am a new creation. The old is gone. All things have become new. You can become a brand new person in Jesus Christ. He can change your life. He's changed many of us who are standing here. We can all testify. And if we lined up all 15 or 20 of us and we all said, Jesus changed my life, you go, hold on a minute. There's something about Jesus Christ. 
Jesus can turn your life around, Manchester. Just very simply say, God, if you're there, show yourself.